Y'all, let's get into it. We ain't about to waste no time, man. What y'all think is gonna happen in this video, bro? Let me know right now what y'all think is gonna happen in this video. Some of y'all probably already watched it. It's my first time watching it. I was gonna watch it uh, last night, but then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wait until the morning time. It's like five in the morning right now. It's about five in the morning right now. It's five twelve. Time to get it in, you know what I'm saying? Time to get it in. Well, his pregnant girlfriend passed his loyalty test. UDY catching cheaters. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, okay. I wanna say she not gonna do it, y'all. I wanna say she not gonna do it. But we don't know how their relationship was going, right? Depending on how their relationship going, depend on the actions that she gonna take, right? Is she done with this guy? She gonna do what she wanna do, <laughs> right? But uh, if she faithful to a relationship, if she loving the kid finna come out, she loving her boyfriend, da 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 da, and then he should be good. But my question is, this your pregnant girlfriend, like, you feel me? You feel me? It's your pregnant girlfriend, my G, like, you now putting her on a loyalty test after, like, she pregnant type, like, what? <laughs> Huh? Sheesh, man. Y'all young boys, man. <sighs> Pull out game weak. <laughs> like, come on, bro. How you gonna get the girl pregnant then put on a loyalty test? That to me is just backwards. You should have put a loyalty test first before you got her pregnant and then it found out she loyal. Like, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? But I wouldn't do that neither. Anyways, let's get into the video, y'all. That's beside the point, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hi, right, UDY. Thanks for the video, man. She could have been doing that with anybody and at the end of the day. I caught her at the club, so you know how I do you are enjoying yourself. I was just probably her option for that night. I'm just trying to make sure that it wasn't others before me. After telling him that she was pregnant, so you went to Joe's at the Oh, okay, got it. So she was already pregnant. He's just trying to make sure. What? Okay. How to work things out between them, but they should try to be a family for the baby's sake, and Joe's are down for that if the baby is his. She came back into your life and said, I got a baby and I want to make this work. What do you say to her when she said that? Really? Are you sure? That's the first thing, of course. Are, are you sure? Then, is it mine? But you know, it's kind of always going to throw the situation left and into the bad light when you accuse her. Yeah. We together. Right. Because as a man, you shouldn't worry about if it's yours or not. You worry about her and her safety and her feelings and her emotions, right? So it, regardless if it's yours or not, you, you know what I'm saying? If another man came before you, would you supposed to be mad? Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Oh. Like, bro, you just met her. Maybe she did or did not know she was pregnant, right? And now you went and stuck your thing in her, right? So it's like... You're not going to help her with the kid? Like, even if it's not yours, you're not going to still stick by her side? Not necessarily the kid's side. You staying by her side. And because your love that you have for her, that you're going to help her with whatever she got going on with her life. Like if, for example, she had a brother or sister and they passed away. Now she got to take their kids on. Are you going to help or not? Oh, no, they ain't my kids. I'm like, man, you sound stupid, bro. You don't even sound like a man. You know what I mean? But... That's why they can't find no real men out here no more. They don't even know what real men is. They don't even know what that is. A king take care of the whole city. He take care of the whole country. He not worried if the, if the 20 kids is his or not. He taking care of everybody. It just shows, bro. And I keep telling y'all about that. I keep telling y'all women about that. Y'all don't know who these real men is, bro. You can tell by their actions on the way they talk. They not real men, right? Because a real man, a guy, he trying to take care of everybody. He gonna take care of the whole world, right? Come on now. But you know, we trying to solidify everything all good. trust, so you know, we're making it work for now. Jozer and Sierra initially broke up because of trust issues, so of course there's going to be doubts. Hopefully those doubts go away, though, with this loyalty test. And I'm not going to lie, I was very hesitant about doing this video, primarily because there's an innocent third party involved. We went through with everything, though, because Jozer said he'd be there for the kid, whether Sierra stayed loyal or not. If, of course, the baby is his. Co-parenting is always the better option with anything. Being for the death for the kid is what's more important. So that's what I was saying. So why are you putting this girl on a test? They didn't say if it's not yours, you ain't gonna be there. 
and then you're gonna leave this girl and she don't obviously she may not know who it is maybe she do and then maybe you know what I'm saying maybe you're the better guy and it's just like I'll just be like, shit, when that baby come out, you just know we finna put another one in that mother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm finna have my own, <laughs> for real. Like, you know what I mean? But, yeah, I ain't gonna talk too crazy, but yeah, like, come on, bro. It's about life, man. That's all it's about, it's about life, man. If she stays loyal, what happens then? If she's loyal, then I'll apply myself to the situation, but until then, she ain't nothing else. Okay, 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 I got you. Okay, okay, I got you. So regardless of the baby is or not, he's saying if she stay loyal in this situation, then he's going to stay by her side. If not, then he's going to go, he gonna bounce. Gotcha. Okay. All right. All right. We can do that. Hello? Okay. Hey, girl. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that we're still on for today to go over choreo. Yeah, I'm still good for you. Okay, perfect. I'm going to head over to the producer's house soon. I'll send you my ETA. Hey, see you soon. See you soon. The first step of her plan was getting Sierra to come to this house. So a couple days ago, we had Madeline ask her to create some dance choreography for one of her songs in exchange for some good money. Sierra was interested and even suggested meeting at a dance studio that she frequents. However, as planned, Madeline preferred to meet at her producer's house. Hey, this is nice. This is crazy. They got the rabbit fur carpet. It's crazy. Shoot. What? Every Roy's Roy's come with that carpet, stupid. What kind of cars you be in? Oh, God. Oh, he's not a millionaire. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel like I can get used to this. She gonna see this car, and that's gonna let me know right there. She's gonna get the full test right now. She's gonna get the full test. The million dollar home is gonna make Isaiah look rich, but this $475,000 Rolls Royce is gonna add some crazy credibility. Here's my favorite feature. Whoa! Kyle! How much is this umbrella? Thirty-two hundred. Thirty-two hundred dollars. I'm about to be like, hey, how much is it called? How much you think this umbrella is? <laughs> That's the flex. I think you can film a gold video with just the umbrella, bro. <laughs> The owner of this umbrella and the Rolls Royce is our friend Kyle. Today he'll be playing Isaiah's driver. After showing Isaiah how to work the car, setting everything up, and adjusting our plan a bit because of the rain, everyone eventually got into position. So you said you already have baby mama drum? Yeah, I got two kids already. How's it going? Jesus. Then why did you go to the club and put your in another girl? Oh my. So basically he dug his own hole. So regardless of the situation here, regardless if she loyal or not, he already got a baby mama and two kids. Don't that sound ridiculous to y'all? How stupid can you be? Like, just digging his own grave type, like, just deeper. Like, you already having drama, you want more drama? She's Louise. Oh, the other baby mama. They pretty cool, now. You know, it's, it, be, it was rocky at first, but you know, the best thing about it is they let me see my kids and talk to my kids. How do you drive this car? This is half a million dollars. You can drive it after afterwards. I don't think you want to drive. <laughs> see the color of my skin, bro. <laughs> Okay, nice perfect. Um, uh, I have parking in the driveway for you. Like, street parking. Like, just park in the driveway because I don't want you to get towed. They usually start towing cars around four. Oh, really? Just pull into the driveway. I'm coming out right now. Where's that her? She's right there. Yeah. Okay, we're starting. We're starting. We're starting. Madeline had to convince Sierra to park in the driveway. Okay, call it up right now. Do you I see me. Oh. Okay, bet. Yeah. Just pull up right here. Right here? Yeah. There we go. She's parking in the driveway. Perfect. This was a simple but important task. You guys will see how we use this to our advantage later. Oh, nice to finally meet you. Yeah. How was the drive? Oh, actually, not too bad. Thank God it stopped raining. Yeah, here we go. We're so good at it. We have so much, so much work to do, but yeah. One thing at a time. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, we could just, I already set up the mirror here. I was thinking we just do here. But this is the producer. Hey. How's it going? Isaiah. All right. We met. First contact. Uh, if you want to just put your stuff down. Yeah. We. Yeah, yeah, that's right now. Madeline now had to make this entire thing believable. So before they start working on the dance choreo for her song, she makes small talk with Sierra. All while Isaiah pretends to get work done. We could do like something for TikTok, something pretty short. It doesn't have to be like super, you know, like crazy. Yeah. You know? I mean, we could just get into it. We could just. Eventually, the girls move on to creating the choreo. Yeah, we're just going to give them some time here to do their thing. And then I'm going to be giving Madeline a call and getting her out of the city. I got legends watching me get done dirty. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Turning in their graves right now watching this. Shit. <laughs> 
Have you ever owned a uh, Honda Civic? Yes, I have owned a Honda Civic. Okay, okay. I started off broke just like I was. <laughs> she gonna be so mad at Madeline at the end of this. <laughs> I know, dude. I was mad at my field that she's getting so friendly with it. It's funny though, now that I've settled down, more girls hit on me now than I did when I was single. But it's getting your loyal. You're on. So you're not gonna come out with the camera. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like you because you know change. It's not because you're in a relationship, it's because you don't put as much pressure upon the women. That's all. Some single men seem to put more pressure upon women than married men, right? Because you're married, right? So they take that as a challenge. If single men have stopped putting so much damn pressure on these women, they would take that as a challenge too. Duh. <laughs> Duh. When a girl don't give you any attention, what you do? You chase after her. Right? The same thing. You don't get that girl no attention. What she gotta do? She gotta chase after you. Stupid. This is really simple. Right? If she passes the test, do you plan on telling her that this was a test? Or would you? Snap. Some things are better left unsaid. I feel it. I feel it. That's the reason why you got a bad relationship problems now. What are you talking about? So you keeping secrets? Like she never gonna see this video ever. That what you think? This man crazy. That's what I'm saying, bro. This man dumb, bro. You gotta be stupid. You don't think somebody gonna find this video within the next 50 years is gonna send it to her. You gotta be out of your rabbit mind. You gotta be out of your rabbit mind. The dark always go to the light, bro. Duh. Somebody gonna see the video be like, Madeline, that's you? She be like, I didn't know I was gonna... She be like, what? When he set this up, you can't see that happen. I can see that happening. That's easy. Jesus Christ, bro. That's what I'm saying. Why you sitting there lying? You gonna sit there and hide it from her. You already got on the test. You might want to tell her. The fuck? Oh, my God. I hate liars, bro. She'll never come across this video. You lost your damn mind. Remember, guys, you're denied, denied, denied. <laughs> How are you going to deny? We see you. We see you and we see her. How are you going to deny this? She pulled up in her car. We see her car. How are you going to deny this, dude? You one of those, bro. You going to sit there. She know the truth. She's sitting there blatantly showing you the truth and you going to sit there and deny a lie. No wonder why you and the ex ain't together, bro. You not understanding this shit, bro. Tell me something, oh, I'm glad she let me see the kids. Nigga, that's all she gonna let you do because you still, you, you lying, bro. You a liar. She don't want you around her, bro. That ain't godly. Stupid. Nigga, it's stupid, bro. Like, they like that demon stuff sometimes, but most of the time they want to be 80% godly. Stupid. Peaceful. Stupid. A little bit of, you know what I'm saying? We got some demon time every once in a while, but most of the time they want the truth and they want godly men, bro. What did you not understand it? So at least I get to see the kids. Yeah, you get to see the kids, but you got to understand that when she get a new nigga, her new nigga going to be taking care of her and your kids. You like, no, man, I'll take care of my kids. Yeah, I, I, I believe you do. I believe it. But guess who, 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 who there in the bed with her? Not you. Man, man, so fucking stupid, bro. These men so damn stupid, bro. I'll tell you what, they so damn stupid, bro. <laughs> you got to be stupid. Bro. You got to be high. Like, you gotta be high, like, like, you gotta be tripping right now. The dance was coming out pretty nice, and so was the sun. After 45 minutes, it was time to move things along. Okay. Yeah, she in the vibe, she in the vibe. Ooh. What's up? My manager's calling What's up? me, hold up. Hello? Uh, hey, Madeline, you have got some time to talk? Otherwise, <laughs> your music video might not happen. Yes, give me one second, give me one second. I gotta take oh. this. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, no worries. Okay, yeah, I'll be right back. Give me like 10, 15 minutes. She crazy. And just like that, we got Madeline out of there. We were one step closer to Isaiah making his move. She left you for a minute or... Yeah. Yeah. You can't tie her down for too long. That girl stays busy. So what you guys are doing though? It's looking good. You like it? Yeah. It's all the little, I, I'm not gonna do it, I can't dance. <laughs> How long you been dancing for? Honestly, 
take my entire life. Alrighty, Kyle. Go ahead and make your entrance. Over. You, uh, you dance full time right now? Yeah. I've been super blessed to get other like, gigs back to back. That's dope. Yeah. So you produce like all of the music? I wouldn't say all of it. We have like 20 something songs together. I produce this track. Really? Yeah. Appreciate it. No, she's really good. How long have you been uh, making music? Not as long as most people that I know. Mm. I've only been doing it for like seven years. So it's like, yeah. It's a long time. Yeah. It's a lot of work, but yeah. we love it. Yeah. This is your song? Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. Appreciate it. She real curious. Been here for like two years. Really? Mm-hmm. So you like it here? I love it here. Wow. Yeah. She heard the fact that she even entertaining this conversation alone is already a rough flag. Ideally, what would you want her to say I do? That she here for business that ain't got nothing to do with her. Not doing nothing in the room. She's supposed to be minding her business. You do anything else? I mean, you gotta understand the dude just... <sighs> dude just walked over there. He sat on the couch next to her. She don't know what's going on. She don't know. He might take out a switchblade or something. He might got that. You know what I mean? She don't know what's going on. So she's just trying to make sure, like, the vibes are good. So when Madeline like, come back, you know what I'm saying? Everybody good. Because he's supposed to be the producer, right? That's all it is, bro. She ain't did nothing. She ain't scoop closer. She ain't like, you know what I mean? She ain't giving a ooh, I like your hat, ooh, your shoes, ooh, you looking nice today. Like, she ain't said nothing. Like, you know what I mean? She she just answering questions, really. She's just prompting them, just trying to figure out, like, who else is this? Is yours? Oh, okay, cool. Like, just, just, just as a question, that's like a general question. Like, for real, for real. If you went to a party or just you went to anything, you'll be taught, hey, bro, this, this your spot. Like, if you don't know who spot it is, right, you gonna come, you gonna be like, who spot this is? Oh, that's that's who spot it is? That's the birthday girl? Like, you, you wanna know, like, you know what I mean? You just wanna make sure, like, it's just informational details, bro. So that way, when she do come back, at least she can be like, boom, I went to uh, this producer spot with Madeline. We did this, that, then the third. Uh, his name was da 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 At least she got details compared to she come back, oh, uh, we was at somebody house. Like, uh, I don't even, yeah. Uh, just sounded retarded like at least now she has some type of information and details back in you feel me this dude is hot bro other than dance and playing sports growing up yeah what's up my guy what's, what's happening bro how's she looking dude your car still looks fresh i mean the car wash was closed but uh, the yeah. end time some work it's a little wet but where cool. So there's a car that's blocking the drive by the Dodge Charger. Oh, yeah, that's my car. Do you mind if I move it? I'm going to move it in really quickly, and then I'll put the Rolls Royce right behind it. Oh, I can just move it. I got it. I mean, it will be a tight squeeze, if, so I would rather just not edit if the car gets crashed, and I'll just do yeah, it. Perfect. You guys want to come out with me? He does this thing for a living, by the way. You don't have to do that. Retail cars, you want managed cars. Here we go. You know how people feel about people driving their car. Madeline convinced Sierra to park in the driveway so that we could force her to come back outside without even trying. So I'm gonna need your car key and I'm gonna move it right up. Sierra thinks that Kyle is just driving her car into the garage so that he could then pull in Isaiah's car into the driveway. While technically, yes, this is true, it's not the main reason why we dragged her out here. How does that even make sense though? You gonna put her car in the garage and yours behind hers? How is she supposed to get out? She literally didn't be, she should have been like, nah, can you put yours in first and then put mine behind it? Like, I need, I got stuff to do. Like, you know what I mean? You don't put your car in someone else's garage. <laughs> they park their car behind yours. Like, you're not going to be able to go nowhere. They literally finna have this girl stuck here. But how's she going to leave when she wants to leave? She got to wait for spine to move the other car. Or it can get vicious and she can take the keys and move the car her damn self. It's like, oh gosh. Jesus Christ. All right. But thank you so much. As I mentioned earlier, Kyle is pretending to be Isaiah's driver who just got his car detailed. Oh, that's my baby right there. You like it? Yeah, that's really nice. My cousin got one. was supposed to be super clean. Isaiah was supposed to be impressed by Kyle's work. I love Kyle's work. That's one of them trucks, man. I love the cousin. I ain't gonna lie. It's one of them trucks. For sure. 
Uh, because of the rain, it didn't make sense to do that anymore. Funny enough, though, the sun ended up coming out after all. I would say I can take you on a drive, but I don't know if Madeline would be happy if I took you away. So <laughs> <laughs> she did leave you, though. I don't know. Now we can hop inside. Yeah. Now we can for sure go inside. All right. Okay. Our new plan was for Isaiah to simply invite Sierra to check out the inside of the car, which okay. he did flawlessly. I got you. Yeah. Appreciate you. Of course. Let me get to your kid, bro. She's she see the car, she choosing already. Isaiah effortlessly gets Sierra into the car. I didn't notice this at the time, but when she hops into the car, she immediately starts checking herself out. Is she trying to make sure she looks good? Is she just fixing her hair from all the dancing? I don't know. What do you guys think? This is a red flag. You don't gotta check yourself. You look good. <laughs> this is insane. With Sierra now in the Rolls Royce, there was only Oh gosh, this is getting deep. The deep doo doo. Deep doo doo. I'm not gonna cap. One last step in our plan. I see it was now free. <sighs> this is deep doo. Man, I don't care how impressed you is for y'all women out there. I don't care how impressed you is about these damn cars. Take your ass to the Rolls Royce dealership and go sit in one. Literally. <laughs> go test drive one. Y'all have good credit. You can go drive one, test drive one, rent one. You can do whatever you want. Don't let these men do this to y'all, bro. Seriously. Literally. The same way how they go rent the cars. You can go rent the car if you want one, right? Rent it for the weekend. You know what I'm saying? You and your girls, go go have fun, right? Don't fall for these men and they, they foolish ass tactics. I don't even understand how y'all fall for it. Like, it, it makes no sense. It's like, it'd be so crazy. They, they be trying not to fall for it because they be having their own little intentions and games being played, but then they end up falling for it. Like, it's just, it's just stupid to me. It's just dumb. That's why I don't play games. No. To finally make his move. Especially now with people. She on thin nice. She is on thin nice. She still ain't made any. I just want to check out the Rolls Royce. I mean, I could have just took you to the dealership, but that's what I'm saying. Like, Brody, you as the BF boyfriend, whatever, you supposed to be taking her through all these experiences. That way, she don't gotta go to another guy to get it. But that's half of y'all problem. Y'all just want to Netflix and chill and, and, and do nothing all day. Y'all don't take these women on these experiences. So then when another man come and show them how a queen or a princess should be treated, you know what I'm saying? They come with the big boys and the big toys. Now y'all want to be all mad. How you mad, bro? You had the opportunity. You could have been took her to go test drive a little cuddling or to, you know what I mean, to see how it feel. You know what I mean? So when she seen it, she's like, oh, I been one of those before. I drove one of those before. It's all good. Nah, I'm good. I don't have to get in. You see what I'm saying? Because she already experienced it. But she never experienced this. So she like, oh, 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 ah. Like, most men would do the same. You heard what I said? Most men would do the same. You pull up in the car and they, they jumping in. Oh, bro, when you get this, bro. Oh, bro, let me draw, bro. Same thing. It go the same way, both ways. I promise you. Let them bring a Lambo to your hood. You think most of the children and the men and the women ain't going to be like, oh, who car is that? Oh, you can take me on the drive. You don't think people going to do that? Of course they is because they don't have this this type of experience every day. You see what I'm saying? It's a blessing, right? Hopefully she doesn't take it too far, though. Come on, let's go. Actually, that she can't come back from, but she's entertaining too much for sure. We're 20, we're 20, we're 20. She's sitting in the car already about enough. I had them do the interior custom made. On the back right here, you can't really see, but if you push these buttons, that pops out like that. Yeah. That's great. This is my second car. I got the other car in the shop. Oh, wow. But I like driving this one a lot. Nice. This is my baby. Yeah. It's like your dream car? Or? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's cost way too much to not be my dream car. How much is Yeah. I don't want to know cars like that. Half a mil. Just by looking at it. I would say maybe like 100,000. You say 100,000? Yeah. About four of those. Is that is crazy. That's wow. You really said $100,000. Does it cost about 1000 <laughs> like, Am I wrong? I feel insulted. That's, that's wild. I told you I don't know cars like that. <laughs> I figured. See what I'm saying? She don't know cars like that. So this is a new opportunity for her. I told you. I told you. Mm-hmm. 
Plus four hundred thousand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I swear to God, it cost that much. Yeah, that much. That's cheap. Oh gosh, she don't have no money. Oh gosh, she's Louise. <laughs> oh my God, the normal AMG or G wagon itself is on a thousand. <laughs> Most women know that, right? Bro, what are you, what, what are y'all doing? Y'all, that's all they doing. That, they must just be Netflix chilling, watching movies. They not doing nothing, like, nothing intellectual. Like, what? is that what house and who house that's my house you know what I mean but that's normal I'm saying that's normal that's not like okay that's normal bruh anywhere in between what a hundred five hundred nah we in Georgia so I guess say a hundred and, and a million right we in Georgia I'm in Georgia so most houses they start out honey might have some two, some like four, some five, some seven hundred, some one point two, one point five. Like, but I'm saying that's normal, right? I thought it was. I guess not. She's Luis. Shoosh. <laughs> yeah, I gotta thank God for the blessing. I mean, thank God, bro, because I thought that was normal. So now Sierra knows the price of the car, which, side note, is actually four hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars before taxes. Pretty and cheap. yes, that includes the umbrella. Pretty cheap. So, uh, pretty cheap. Yeah. That's not far at all. Yeah, not too far. Yeah. You got any plans this weekend? I don't know yet. <laughs> Why? Well, I guess. I'm just trying to give you some plans. Yeah. Give me some plans. I'm gonna be real. Yeah. Be real. I'm in a predicament right now. What? I got this beautiful woman in my car, oh. and I feel like I would be dumb not to ask her out on a date. She'd be dumb to say yes. You ask me on a date. I would love to. Why do you want to take me on a date? Because you're beautiful, you're talented, mm-hmm. you're sexy. The list goes on. I can keep going if you want me to. Mm-hmm. I want someone I can spend my time with, give my time to. Mm-hmm. I want to spend my time with you. She don't even know when people lie to her. That's she making it easy for them too. I'll pick you up in this. I have a whole. That's the problem, bro. Most girls don't. Most girls don't know when the nigga lying to them. But us as men, we be knowing because we know what it sound like. It's like, bro, shut your. I be in the store, man. I tell people this all the time, bro. I be at the store, man. And you know how the men be trying to talk to the the cash register lady and everything. I be like, bro. Can you can can you order my stuff first? Can you ring me up first? Cause I don't even want to listen to this shit. I'm already knowing he finna gaslight you. He finna change. Oh hey, how you doing, man? What time you getting over? What's your name on it? He trying to change his voice up. He doing all this slow talk. I ain't got time for that shit, man. Go ahead and order my ring my shit up so I can get up out of here. All this manipulation going on right in front of my face. I say it out loud. I'm like, man, I ain't, I ain't trying to hear this. I'm like, he manipulating you. Don't listen to him. <laughs> Even if he say he got what he got, he only got it for a little bit. Give him about another year or two, he ain't gonna have that no more. You feel I me? Mean? Like, come on now. Sure, man. Sure. She was annoying. Anyways. Oh, bouquet of flowers in the back. I'll make a song for you. A song? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. She didn't say yeah. I mean, that what you on? You had on the test and you ain't gonna tell us. So I guess that with both of y'all. Like, both of y'all sneaky. Y'all match 
watching energies right now, though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> you think she that shit show up? It don't matter if she's showing. Just opening the door, giving them access, that's already enough. This is crazy because Yara is pregnant. She's pregnant. She's in a relationship with Josar because she wants to be a family. Yet she's over here agreeing to go on dates with other guys. Where do you want to eat? Uh, honestly, I have no idea. Like... You never ask a girl where they want to eat. You can tell he don't talk to women. Come on, where you want to eat? That's the last thing you want to ask them. It don't even matter where she want to eat. She's going to eat where you want to eat. And half the time, she's going to eat your food. She's going to oh, your food look a little bit better. I know my steak a little better than whatever the fuck you deposited in the tacos that you ordered, obviously. Because that's what they order most of the time, right? Obviously, right? It's like you never ask them what they want to eat. Never. You, you, you bound to get into an argument. And then half the time when you get them that, they don't even want it. Again, they want your food. <laughs> like, come on, bro. And then when you look at their food, you're like, man, you know what? Let me get some of that. <laughs> Usually pretty indecisive. Oh, you. Right. Most women are. Like, I don't even see why he sat there and asked her that. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't care what she want to eat. She going to eat where I want to eat. Is she going to go where I want to go? Like, you the man, you supposed to leave, bro. Like, you following her, you asking her what she want to eat. Now she she basically telling you, chauffeur, take me here. Stupid. I told y'all, you can always tell when people don't, they don't, they don't know how to talk to women, bro. Like, you can always tell, bro. It's just the stupid stuff they say. It's just stupid. How dumb can you be? Miss Indecisive, just pick. Like, come on, bro. Just pick something, bro. Like, you pick. Uh, uh, pretty crazy too i was wondering if he was gonna say something or not but yeah that's pretty crazy too bro that's what we that's what we've been saying bro these women out here not like the women that were growing up in your your days they're not like that anymore literally some of them are some of them are not like which is crazy bro like it's just you know people do what they want to do you know um, I mean, it's been like this forever, so we can't even say that anything has changed. Nothing has changed. You know what I'm saying? It's still the same. Everything's been done before. It's going to be done again, right? That's true. Damn, I didn't even think of that. After that, we can, you know, just see where the night goes. Unless maybe she's not pregnant. Maybe she had an abortion. We don't know what's going on, really, you know? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Maybe a miscarriage happened. We don't know. We don't know. She has to tell. We don't know. Okay. I'll be down with whatever. Yeah, I like being spontaneous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, what? She ain't got no respect for herself. She's making it so easy. This was a complete and utter fail. Sierra knows exactly what Isaiah is offering, and she knows what she should say. Yet, despite having a man and a baby, she still agrees to go on a date with him. It looks like she's looking for a come up. Yeah. And you all. All right, where am I picking you up from? You said you live in what area? She's really doing all of it. I just said that. <laughs> I said he gon' he gonna be uh, single or he gonna be uh, with his kids while somebody else messes with his either baby mama or vice versa. You see what I'm saying? Nah, I said it. Not necessarily that she looking for a come up, but yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If it ain't given, it ain't given. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. If it ain't given, it ain't given. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. If I ain't giving it, I ain't giving it, I ain't gonna lie. You just gotta be real on that part too, like, 
If she know for a fact that you ain't gonna be able to take care of business, she gonna find somebody that can. That's why most of the time you gotta hope that her dad's still in her life. You feel me? Cause he can't help out. So that way she won't be looking for another man, right? Where you can't, you know what I'm saying, compete. Your money might not be right. She can call her dad, yo dad, hey, you can send me hundred dollars, two hundred, a thousand for some diapers and stuff. You know, the pops gonna be fine with that. But say the pops ain't there, she ain't like her pops. Or say the pops ain't, ain't he dead. Who she gonna call next? She like, oh, that's, that's, that's my bro. Oh, that's my uncle. She gonna start calling her other name. That's my grandpa. That my, that, that, that. <laughs> she gonna start calling her other names. So you just gotta, you know, that's what I'm saying. You gotta do your background check. You do your background check, man. You really gotta do your background check. Um, even dealing with um, women and their moms. See how they moms is, man. Most most of the time, they end up just like them. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. So it's just like, yeah, you gotta do your research, man. You can't just be sticking your thing into anything. You know what I'm saying? Now you, you got emotions and all this stuff going along. That's why you're doing all of this. Because if you had any emotions, you'd have been cut it off. You know? She has a baby. I can't even imagine what she'd be doing on a normal hospital. It's really crazy. Think about it, like, she really can't just trust people. And that's why I'm glad I did this. This just gave him the confirmation that she ain't loyal for sure. Like, He's, and he basically saying it was too easy for her to slide. Like, she ain't just, she ain't nowhere in this conversation below, I got a boyfriend. Or, uh, yeah. Give me more reason to keep my suspicions in mind. Like, baby it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool, though, bro. I definitely want to get it tested before you put in any child support or anything. No, right, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't even see why you did that. Like, bro, why you think us rappers only get head? Because we don't want to be in this stupid predicament. It's like, that. we don't know who these women be messing with. Why would you put your thing in her, bro? You ain't supposed to do that into marriage, bro. It's celibacy into marriage, bro. You tripping. You ain't following God's rules, bro. You try to make up your own plan. And that's why you in a predicament. You see how these men do, y'all women? They don't follow God's rules. And this is how they get in these predicaments. And this is how they get y'all in these predicaments. Dumbass predicament. It's just stupid. Same vice versa. The woman, she ain't being celibate. She ain't being curious and pre, 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 whatever that word is. She doing that stuff. She out here going around the block. She, she for the community damn near. Come on, bro. Y'all ain't following God's word, bro. Y'all doing what y'all want to do. And that's why y'all end up in karma in bad situations like this. Y'all emotions and everything be all going up and down. Because y'all understand what's going on. It's so simple to be faithful <laughs> to God. Like, that's all I'm asking. Like, I ain't saying be faithful to this nigga. I ain't saying that at all. I ain't saying be faithful to her. I ain't saying that at all. I said be faithful to God. If you can be faithful to God, you're not going to cheat on another person. Because you know that's disrespect. Come on now. But they don't follow the commandments. They don't follow the word. They don't even know the commandments. They don't know They don't know the word. They don't know nothing. They don't even know the 48 laws of power. Which is why half these men give away their power every single day. Come on now. Come on now. Men ain't got no knowledge. That's why they mess with the dummies. Because they know the dummies ain't going to be smart enough to understand what's going on until it's too late. Come on now. Come on now. You be trying to figure out why she mess with this dummy. Why? Oh, why she mess with this ugly guy? Because <laughs> he don't know no better. You too smart for her. <laughs> Y'all ain't never been in a situation like that. You just too smart for her. Come on now. Let's be real. Hmm. This is heartbreaking, messed up, and sad. It's sad. For Jozar and the baby. Like, right. really think about it. We don't even know, like, what if it was his? Like, like, damn, girl. You gotta put in continuing this any further? No, she needs to feel me. She need to see how I feel. Nah, she clearly too comfortable in the car. She too comfortable. Ah, he gonna, I thought you said you weren't gonna call it. Ah, he gonna call it now? Okay, this is gonna be the juice here, then. Okay, let's go, y'all. Comfortable in the car. She clearly too comfortable in the car. She too comfortable in the car. She clearly too comfortable in the car. 
I try not to say too much more than that, but. That's what I said. I'm like her car blocked in. She can't go nowhere. I'm like, oh my gosh. She should have. She should have been smart enough, y'all. You know, park my park my car on the street. Matter of fact, put mine behind or put mine behind. Just in case I need to get up out of here. She's just, just willy nilly, just like, okay, okay, in the garage, okay. <laughs> huh? Don't put my car in your garage, nigga, so you can close it and tell me I can't get my car, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run through your garage, man. Don't put my car in the damn garage. <laughs> that sound like control. Let's go. The outcome of this video was unfortunate, but on the bright side, though, if Isaiah does end up being the dad, at least it's good to know that he's going to step up and be there for his kid. I hope you guys have your talkings. Because you guys already know. This is going to be good. That's going to be crazy, man. And then, I ain't going to lie. Her and Buddy in the car having good conversation. I ain't gonna go. I ain't gonna lie. He wasn't even putting no game really now. He was just talking to her normal, bro. And he was having a great conversation. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna cap on that. But dang, girl. Can't have good conversation with everybody. <laughs> really, though. You don't see Beyonce talking to everybody. For real, though. Let's be honest, bro. I don't know why y'all ain't understanding that. You see how Nicki Minaj at? <laughs> Anytime a nigga talk to her, she like. She might just kick you in your head. You seen what she did to Kai? <laughs> I'm saying, y'all gotta be real, bro. Y'all not understand why these women act like that. They like, oh man, no, she crazy. She not crazy. She been through a lot. She been through a lot, especially dealing with these hood. And she know how it go. So she, you know what I'm saying? And you women ain't crazy, bro. They know what's going on. Someone just a little slow. Like, look at this. Now what? Oh damn! Y'all hear her voice? She like, what is this? Yo, she wear the pants, bro. She got you out here sound like a little girl. <laughs> Literally, you like, what is this? <laughs> You hear how high his voice is? His voice sound like mine. You see what I'm saying? That means he on an emotional level. She she being calm and stable because she she don't know what's going on. So she's just like, yo, what is this? But that's crazy. That's what you were supposed to do, bro. You weren't supposed to What? What is this? <laughs> bro, that's what females do, bro. You're supposed to be like, yo, you supposed to What's going on? Matter of fact, you ain't gotta let me know. You ain't gotta explain yourself. You know what I'm saying? And then going about your business. You see what it is and <laughs> what it ain't. But uh, all right. Let's see. It, there, there is something in her stomach. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What the you all here doing? You in his car talking about you about to go on days this time and third? What's wrong with you? You tripping? You think I'm stupid or something? Nah, no, I don't look stupid. I just know what the f you got going on. And I need a confirmation of that for real. You tripping, shorty? Nah, no, what the f you doing? I'm like, wait, where the f you going? We're not about to do that. You trying to run away from your problems and your responsibilities. Bro, you shouldn't have been out here being a what the f you doing there? You talk about you're not trying to be on camera. I'm not trying to be out here raising a kid that ain't mine. You want me to be there and be responsible for this kid and be there for this baby? But you out here doing niggas like that? You got me up. What are you talking about? You know what the f I'm talking about. You out here in the car playing crazy with this talking about you about the ball days and you talking about you about to drink liquor? You got a baby in your belly. You know what the f that gonna do to my kid? What the f is wrong with you? You not thinking with your head or something? I can do whatever the f I want to do. You're not about to do the f you want while you got my kid in your belly. Supposedly, my baby. <laughs> what the f wrong no, with you? you set me up. Yeah, I set you up because you was about to set me up for 18 years. About to have me paying child support on the kid. That's probably not even. What the f are you talking about, bro? I'm talking about you this baby. You hiring people to stop me? Nah, don't be trying to flip it on me. Nah, I saw all these cameras out here because you could have been one, two, three, four, five niggas before you told me you had this baby in your stomach. So you're, so you're, this entire thing was basically all a test. We were just trying to help Joe's art find out if you're a little different or not. That's why we have all these cameras. Failed, tragically. I mean, clearly, I mean, you agreed to go on a date with Isaiah. 
this isn't actually his house. This house is a rental. Madeline is a singer, but she doesn't really want to make a whole dance and everything for the video. So like all that was just made up. Like, just wasting my So I'm not gonna get my money. <laughs> now you know how I feel to get your yeah. time wasted. Why the f you have everyone in our business? I tried to keep it between me and you, but you wanted to involve all these other niggas in our situation. Now I'm just questioning who you was dealing with before you even told me you was pregnant, because it might not even be mine. Now I want a paternity test. Well, it's not. It's not yours. It's not your baby. Yeah. Dang. What? Is it not yours, really, or is she just saying this because of the moment? Because if it's really not yours and she been new, that's why she was going to go on a date with the other guy. Because she like, <sighs> that'd make more sense to why she, she didn't feel no type of emotions toward this guy and why she talked to him the way she talked to him. And of course she wants to talk off camera, of course, right? I mean, bro, you got your answer there. At least now you know that you can move on. Because it'd be one thing if it was his baby and then she tried to run off with his baby, you know what I mean? That's kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? But if it's not yours, bro, and if this is the type of stuff she's doing, bro, you can't even be mad at it. Let her do her, right? Like she said, she can do whatever she want to do, right? Hopefully it's just heat in the moment. She just saying, nah, it's not yours. Just, just to get him out, get, get him out of her face. But I don't know. Did you want to hear that? So then my baby, who kid is it then? I f***ed your best friend. I f***ed your friend. Hey, look, How does that look, feel? Look. Did you want to hear that? Yeah, I f***ed your friend. Hey, look, you know we don't even play like that. Don't even say like that to me before I get out of here. Nah, you f***ed up in the head, shorty. How about this? I mean, I know you're worried about getting paid, so how about if I offer you a $1,000 to go take a prenatal pregnancy test? There's a few clinics. <laughs> I'm just on the phone here, and I'm trying to just get to the truth at this point. My offer to you is I'll give you $1,000 if you agree to go do a prenatal pregnancy test. It's going to cost about $2,000, but I'll cover all of that. So you'll get pretty much $1,000 for taking the test. You'll know who's the actual, if he's the father or not, and everything else is covered. <laughs> wait, wait, what? So you're offering your pay her? Yes, because he feels the situation. He's been standing there the whole time. He's he been there the whole time. He allows y'all to use the car. He's a millionaire. He doesn't matter if $2,000 to a millionaire is nothing. Y'all broke. Stop acting that way. Anyways, a millionaire is like, yeah, of course, I'm going to help this guy out and I'm going to help this girl out. Make sure that we solve what's going on here. Yes, that's God. <laughs> that's God. He's a great man. Yes. You're not just going to stand there and allow them to be sit here and bicker and be stupid without helping them. And that's what y'all do. Y'all just want it for the entertainment, just to post stuff on online, just to say, oh, this person's a cheater. This person is that. He actually wants to get to the truth. That's God. <laughs> God's work. Literally. Come on now. $2,000 is nothing. Y'all tripping. I keep telling y'all, y'all tripping. I'll give her an extra five thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? I give her six grand total. Six grand. Yeah, take it. <laughs> give her an extra five grand. Yes. Six grand. This came out of nowhere. My man Scott was offering Sierra six thousand dollars. Yes, because we need to know the truth. Yes. If if my man was in the predicament, I would do the same thing for him. Yes. Yes, we have to get to the bottom of this. I take this thing called the prenatal pregnancy test. Now, I didn't know this at the time, but apparently they've developed ways to find out if you're the parent of a child before the baby's even born. Apparently as early as seven weeks of conception. Imagine if Jerry and Maury had this Six grand. Six grand. Six K, you know you I'm over the bro. I'm over the Oh, where are you going, shorty? Just gotta go. You can't go nowhere like this, right? Like, I'm out of here, bro. Why are you trying to leave now when he said he favorite thing? What's your issue, shorty? Come back. Don't away from your problems now. You lack accountability with everything you do, and now you're trying to run away when the evidence right in front of you. That's a problem. You need to find out your pills and your standards. They in the gutter. You see what you Yeah, move the rolls before she crashed into the car. And leave her alone, dude. This is what I'm talking about, bro. Don't chase after no woman, bro. You are a man, bro. What are you doing? It's billions of other women out there. You chasing after her over there trying to argue with her. You look like a girl. Literally. That's what women do. They chase after men. You're not finna you, you're not supposed to do that, bro. And then you annoying her at the same time. 
Like, what are you trying to accomplish here? You see what I'm saying? Don't do that, bro. Don't do it. We obviously see she messed up. She knows she messed up, bro. <laughs> like, you trying to rub it in her face. Like, let it go. You are a man. You don't need to be doing that. That's some childish ass stuff, bro. It makes no sense. That's like throwing somebody under the bus, right? But we don't do that to God's children, right? We all got children. You don't do that to another person because you, want, you wouldn't want somebody to do that to you. I told y'all, bro, they, they, they just don't know, bro. Their emotions get ahead of their they, they mouths and their emotions get ahead of their head and then they take actions and they don't even know what the hell they don't. You're going to look back at this years later and be like, man, I shouldn't have been acting like that. Of course you shouldn't have been acting like that, dummy. And I'm surprised nobody here didn't stop you. That's crazy. You acting like a girl. It can't be two girls in a relationship. That ain't gonna work. Y'all weird, bro. Got men acting like women. The hell wrong with y'all? We should move that before she backs into it. Hold it. <laughs> let, me, let me go move this car real quick. I left the the keys are in the car. Yep. Like, look at this letter go, bro. Yeah, she, let her go, bro. Let her go, but she's still like, you all here choosing with these things like I'm about. Like, let her go, you, bro. Of all of it. You got a 6K opportunity. Let, let her struggle, bro. Don't rush for nothing. Don't, don't let her control that she got going on. She don't want to over here. She might back up into the rules. Yeah, bro. move the car, bro. Yeah, you should move the rules. She might back up into that. Yeah, move that car the way, bro. Keep getting out again. You're oatmeal cream pie. <laughs> Joe's are really called her an oatmeal cream pie. What the? What does that even mean? Oatmeal cream pie. I guess I kind of get it. He's wrong. Yeah, I get it. For her. Now, despite being offered $6,000 to take this prenatal test, Sierra refused to take it. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's. I started to think maybe she's not pregnant. Or, like she was saying, she didn't want everybody in her damn business. Which is understandable. It's because of her ego. Maybe it's because she knows it's not Joe's arts. Or maybe it's because of what she says next. Joke's on you. There's no baby. Told you. I just said it. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. Most likely there's no baby. <laughs> I figured that when she started talking about drinking. I said, there can't be no baby in that girl. Because she looks like she's smart enough to understand what she should and what she shouldn't do when she's pregnant. She's a girl. All girls know what to do and what not to do, right? Come on now. <laughs> yeah, I figured that. And that's why she was, she's like so done with him. And that's why she was planning on moving on. Because she like, right, no, babe. She came here with the intentions on doing her, which she did, right? Bye, you. <laughs> She really just said that. Yeah, I don't know if she was being serious or not, but uh, she just said there was no baby. She just said there's no baby. She said there's no baby. No way. You said you recorded it. You got it on yeah. camera. No way. Yeah, we got it. You got to spin that back for me. So you telling me? So you telling? So you telling me that it ain't no baby? There, there is no baby in the first place. Oh yeah, careful, careful. Joseph, come back here, Joseph. There's no baby in the first place. Yeah, don't, don't, don't let her. Yeah, don't you let her. What the f is wrong with you? You take your ass on somewhere. She drive a charger. You don't know what kind of girl that is. She drives a charger. The fuck? She just like us. <laughs> she drives a charger. <laughs> she just like us. She don't have no Mercedes. She not no prissy girl. She drives a charger. She with the homies. Yes. <laughs> She gonna play you just like you try to play her tight. You know what I mean? She drives a charger. She not in no little beetle. She not no little prissy girl. She ain't in no Mercedes. She ain't nothing fancy. She in a charger. <laughs> she one of the homies. Sheesh Louise. Come on now. You can tell by the car. I'm telling y'all, man, you gotta really, really inspect these women and, and vice versa. You gotta inspect the men. When a girl walk up to you, she trying to see what shoes you got on. She trying to see what type of car you drive. She trying to see what type of time you on. You can really tell a lot about a person, about the type of shoes they wear and the type of car they drive, right? Come on now, let's be honest. You ain't just go to the dealership and buy a car. You got what you wanted for a specific reason. <laughs> oh gosh, but anyways. 
you better not call her neither. <laughs> he go, he gonna wait a couple of days, man, man, man. <laughs> we just need to talk and we link up. Like, bro, you better not. Let's see that footage. I want to see that footage. I don't rule out the possibility that there really is no baby, but yeah, know, she's super mad. She might just be talking out of her ass. The yeah, situation is shocking, but I kind of take it with a grain of salt. Like, she could have been talking out of her butt to, to 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 get him to believe it was a baby there. You know what I'm saying? We we just don't know, man. That is even the truth at this point. We just I don't, don't know. know the, the, the being thrown out, but <laughs> <laughs> this is why you. Well, luckily you and you stuck with it. You almost did. <laughs> you know what? Joke's on you. There's no baby. <laughs> she was basically just about to play me. I don't know, but just to try to like. Get the bread off me. We don't, we don't know. I don't know. I'm a little fifty-fifty. Oh, too bad. She, she's, 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 she's only told me about a month or two ago, so I can't even tell by the stomach if she really pregnant or not. I feel like she was trying to do the whole confrontation because she she was telling you all oh, the babies on yours are your friend, and now she's telling you there is no baby. Yep. I think anything is possible at this point. What does get me is the whole like, why didn't she take the the money? I took that as like, dude, if she was telling the truth, why wouldn't she? Say? Exactly. She's telling the truth. It's great. Yeah. Even if she is telling the truth, she's done for her in, the, in the case of me feeling any feelings for her. Even if she's pregnant and the kid is mine, she just know how to learn how to deal with it from a distance. I'm going to co-parent and not get my kid on my own time. So you're going to do another girl the same way? That's what you're saying? So now all of you got the one girl that got the kids. Now you're saying you're going to have another girl with the kids and you're going to have to, oh, I'm, I'm going to get my kids on my own time. You're not, you're not seeing this cycle that you're building here? Oh my gosh, bro. That remind me of um, the dude from Wild and Out, whoever, Nick Cannon. You kind of look like him too. You're starting to repeat the same cycle this guy was repeating. The, the delusionalness. The delusionalness, bro. That's why they say celibacy until marriage. <laughs> Please, y'all, read y'all Bible. I'm out. Peace. Because y'all is retarded, obviously.